Alright guys, so you just watched my video on how to bind the FreeSky XSR receiver and you are getting the solid green and solid red light once you give it power. Uh, like I said in that video, this means that your firmware is conflicting with one another, so you need to change either the firmware of your transmitter or receiver. Uh, I have a video showing you how to upgrade the firmware of your Tyrannus, but say you want to upgrade the firmware of your receiver, that's what this video is going to cover. That way we can make it all match and make it work. First things first, just like before, we're going to hold both of these inward and power it on. Then without pressing any buttons, flip it around and go ahead and plug in your USB cable. Now let's go to the interwebs and do a Google search for FR Sky. That will take you to frsky-rc.com. I know it's pronounced free sky, but I, I don't know why they do that. Then go to the download tab. Now let's click on firmware. You will see a firmware download for the XSR right here, but this is not the one we are looking for. This is the one that we are looking for. So click on that and click on download. Now I have already made a, uh, I've got my RC folder with all my RC stuff in it. Then inside of that RC folder, I made another folder called XSR. So I'm going to download it to that just so I know exactly where it's going. Once it's downloaded, I will go back to that folder. Now you need a program to be able to open this file. I am using uh, what is called uh, 9-zip, which you see right here. It's just an app. You can go to your Play Store and download it there. And uh, so that's just the FYI. Now I will just go up here and click Extract All. I'm going to extract it into the same folder. So I will just click that folder like that, select folder, and it's extracted. Now the download itself, we can delete, we didn't, no longer need it, and that will leave us with this folder. You can click on that, click on it again, and we will see a LBT version of firmware and a non-EU version of firmware. You're probably going to ask me which version of firmware do I need? Well, it depends on what version of firmware you have in your Tyrannus. Um, long story short, I'm just going to tell you to try both. Uh, now, I have purposely put the EU or LBT version of firmware on my XSR, and I need it to be the non-EU version because that's what version of firmware my trans has in it right now. Uh, but either way, let's just take both of these and copy them both. Now go to the memory card on the trans itself. So I'm just going to click on this, and that will give you these. Click on firmwares. I will actually make a new folder and just name it XSR. Click on that and paste both of these into that XSR folder. Once that's done, you can close that out. Get back to your Tyrannus. You can unplug your USB cable, power it off. Now, if you take this cover off of the back, let me zoom in a little for you you're going to see five pins and I've already labeled them for you these top two pins you do not need the third pin or middle pin is going to be your positive the pin below that is negative and then the pin below that is going to be your telemetry wire or also known as smart port on the XSR there's many different ways of connecting your XSR to your Tyrannus I am just going to use a simple three wire servo cable like this I've depinned the wires and rearranged them to where they are, will be in the same order once I plug it in. Uh, basically with positive on top, then negative, and then the bottom wire is my smart port wire. Now on the XSR, uh, on this connector you will have your ground wire, which is black, power wire, which is red, and uh, now this wire in the very middle, that is your telemetry wire or smart port wire. 
Mine is green, but I believe yours should be yellow. Uh, I can't remember the original color of it. I've replaced my wires, but uh, either way, just know that it's the very middle wire. I'm going to take both the positive wires and just quickly solder them together. It doesn't have to be fancy soldering, doesn't have to be good soldering, just make sure they are contacting. I will do the same thing with both my ground wires. And now the telemetry wire, which is my green wire, but it's going to be your yellow wire. And that's it. All the other wires coming from the XSR you don't need. You just need power, ground, and telemetry. Now I will take this and plug it into the back of my uh, Tyrannus. Just like that. Like I said, power, then ground, then telemetry. I'm now going to take a piece of electrical tape and put it around my power wire. I don't want it contacting anything. Uh, you can put tape around your ground wire and telemetry wire if you choose, uh, but it's really not going to mess up anything. Now we will just flip it around to the other side. You turn me on. Hold down the menu button, then press page. Go down to firmwares and press enter. Go down to XSR. Now, like I said, I currently have the EU version of firmware or LBT on the XSR, but I want the non EU version. So I will just go to that and press enter. Then flash external device. Once you do that, the XSR will start uh, lighting up and the trans is now sending power to it and sending the file. It's going to be this uh, you know, solid green light and flashing red light and you get a little loading bar right here. So just to reiterate, if you have the EU version of firmware on your Tyrannus and you need the EU version on your XSR, then you would choose the LBT file. Okay, once it's done, I'm just going to exit all the way out, power it off, disconnect this from the back of the Tyrannus. Now remove the three wire servo cable from your XSR harness. Just like in the video where I show you how to uh, bind the XSR, I will reconnect it to my flight controller. And now I will rebind it just like I did in the binding video link is in the top right of your screen if you have not seen that video. Doing the same binding procedure like in that video, instead of getting a solid green light and solid red light, I now have a solid green and blinking red. So at that point I will just disconnect power, press the bind button to make it stop binding, reapply power, and now I have the magical solid green light. It's now bound and we are ready to go. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, check out the Trans playlist if you have not seen it yet. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. So thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.